check out these clips from the chains and beads module I'm creating for my fluid art e-course. Here I'm experimenting with something I've never done before, of pulling a chain through holes I poked in my canvas. I am going to use my needle tip vials instead of syringes and apply drops of paint. The frame, it takes up so much space that I couldn't drill through or poke through with my skewer. Um, this was the available space for me. So I have very limited, very limited place to lay my chains down. And let's see, can you see I am, yeah, here we go. I taped the ends of the chain that are coming down from the back onto my surface so I know where they are. All right, so a thin, Maybe, maybe not thin enough. Maybe not thin enough base layer. I'm gonna like thin it out a bit. I'm flicking paint back into my tub. I don't think it's really working. <laughs> okay. Um. So, I'm going to grab from underneath this, this tiny one, and I'm holding that canvas steady. Oh my God. Can you see that? Now that's more like it. Damn. I have never done a pull that I didn't have to pull off the edge of the canvas. Well, that turns out to be wrong. I can actually hold a chain in both hands over the surface of a canvas and pull without dragging it over the edge, without poking a hole through the canvas. But because the results look different to me with each of these methods, I don't think my whole poking days are over just yet. Check out the Fluid Art eCourse. Come explore with me.